everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. Apologies that today's video is a bit late, I have had a bit of a busy day but it's here um, and this is my custom Ian Chesterton from Marco Polo. Uh, so there's a couple of things to uh, talk about here. Firstly I want to give a huge Huge, huge, huge shout out to Gallifrey Customs, you may know them from uh, Instagram, uh, for this Ian Cheston head that they designed and painted themselves. Uh, they gave it to me um, uh, last year, and I just kept meaning to, to get around to using it on a custom, and things just kept sort of coming up with COVID and everything else happening. It just, it just sort of kept getting delayed and uh, I eventually put together the custom and then it got put to one side, it never got finished, but here it is finally finished. Uh, they also sent me Susan and Barbara and there will be customs coming for both of them in future as well, but obviously here today we have Ian. As I said, this is Ian from Marco Polo. It is definitely one that I think probably not a lot of people would necessarily go to as their first custom for Ian, um, but there was sort of reasons behind that. Firstly, I didn't have any um, sort of suited figures spare uh, with a tie that I could use. Um, you know, and I, I originally thought about doing him from the Planet of the Giants, um, or doing him from, uh, I think it was, I want to say Edge of Destruction. Um, you know, there were several ideas that I had, you know, going around, but it all meant having to sort of buy in spares that I didn't have, and at the time I couldn't afford the spares. But one thing I did have in the bottom of my spares box was a, a, was a, a, a fair few um, Auton figures from Series 1. And so I had a look uh, over the episodes that Ian was in to try and find if I could see one where he didn't have a tie or some other sort of polo neck or cravat sort of necktie of some sort. And uh, I came across... Now I don't know if it was, uh, I don't know if it's been colourised or it's an original colour photo, but it is a photo of him in Marco Polo before he dons his normal outfit, but after he's taken off his cloak that he wears at the start of the episode, which shows him in a light blue shirt tucked in and grey trousers, and I thought... Now there's an idea that I've never seen done before and it's a very interesting look for Ian, but obviously I didn't want to do him without a um, without a jacket as well because again that would have meant having to change the arms and things like that. So in the end I decided to do use a little bit of sort of uh, creativity of my own um, and sort of give him a jacket that... It's likely he would have worn at some point based on some of his other outfits. So it is one that is a bit of a, you know, I have taken a little bit of artistic license with it, but it's one that I'm very pleased with because it's certainly something that I think, you know, I could I could see Ian having worn. And you know, it's a, it's a great use of the it's a great use of the Auton parts as well because they are figures that I find can be very difficult to use. You know, there's not a whole lot you can do with them. They don't have as much articulation as some of the other figures, which is always a bit of a, which is always a bit of a, a an unfortunate, um, an unfortunate thing about them. But just generally, uh, you know, this has come out really, really well. I did consider adding on the third Doctor cloak, so he has it at, like he has it at the start of the episode. But again, he has it closed, so it would have meant having to sculpt it and hiding all the other stuff underneath. So I thought, as a, you know, as an Ian figure, this was a nice variant. It was one that. I don't think I've ever seen done before. I could be wrong, uh, but I don't think I've ever seen him done from this episode before, at least in his normal garb rather than his uh, Marco Polo garb that he uh, appears most in the episode. So, yeah, it was just a nice little simple variant. It's a great way to use this absolutely fantastic head. I'm certainly looking forward to doing um, Ian, uh, Ian uh, Barbara and Susan. Um, I have already ready started work on the Susan body. Obviously, as you can see, I haven't put the head on yet, but that is probably going to be the next one that's coming out. Um, you know, and I, I really hope that it comes out as well as this one, because again, this is one of those ones that I wouldn't have otherwise used these, you know, used this figure base, and it wasn't one that I thought would ever really work, but here it is, and it's worked really well, and I really am pleased with it. Uh, so, that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot, and be sure to check the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation, and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so, and finding my Patreon in any way. It's your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.